This video briefly goes over the concept of cost push inflation. So what causes it? We can look at our aggregate supply, aggregate demand model. We got real GDP on the x-axis, price level on the y-axis, downward sloping aggregate demand, upward sloping aggregate supply. And so what is cost push inflation? Cost push infl inflation happens when the price level of inputs, or price of inputs, increases. So this could be wages increasing, so the cost of labor as an input is increasing, cost of other inputs, say factories, or if you're making movies, DVDs go up, that sort of thing. When the price of an input increases, we see a decrease or a leftward shift in aggregate supply. So over time, we're going to reach that new equilibrium level and if you look at equilibrium price level, it goes up. And as the price level goes up, that's inflation. Prices of things go up, price level goes up, that's inflation. So that's what causes cost push inflation. It's this price of inputs going up, shifting aggregate supply, causing equilibrium price level to go up. Again, if We have long run aggregate supply, so this is short run, and again, not every class will go over this, but if your instructor textbook goes over this, it's good to know. We will return to this equilibrium real GDP level in the long run. And so what happens here is that prices are too high, cost of labor is too high, so the cost of labor goes down because labor demand goes down. And so over time, price levels will drop until we get to this equilibrium point again, which is where we'll be at in the long run. But in the short run, we'll see inflation caused by this price of input increase, which is cost push inflation.